it's mirror level. Take a look on example how it looks on real graph. It, when we have some level, price bounced from it. Price, for example, bounced from it, but eventually broke it. I want you to understand the logic of mirror level. In this, in this part of graph, a lot of people open by position, open by position and hold this level. They set stop losses under this level. And when price broke it down, that means big player took volume of buyers to continue down more. Took a lot of volume and activate sell position because there are a lot of traders who trade, when, who open position when price broke, broke some level. And when price come back to this level, it is one of the best keys, key places on the chart where you can open a position because also near this level you can have low risk, low risk and great potential reward. Because when you will see examples, you will see that mostly price really respects that levels, especially if you use them on daily chart, minimum is four hour on one hour chart. Also type of level you can use for intraday trading on one four hour charts. I want to show you an example when price moves up. For a start, we have a situation when price came to key level and price cannot break it, bounce it, bounce it. A lot of people open sell, sell, sell position. But in the end, it breaks it up. There is stop losses, hit, and it takes new volume to move the price up. Because as we speak before, if someone opens sell, when they close position or market hits their stop losses, it, it opened buy position. Also about mirror levels, we will take a look far more on a real graph. I will show you more examples. Let's take a look on mirror levels and how you can build it on chart properly. What is mirror level? Let's take a look for a stack on the structure on, of mirror level and after that you will understand everything. Let's open lower time frame because for a start I want to draw a structure for you. Here we have a resistant. Let's take a look on this example. Price bounced from, from the level, bounce it, bounce it, but eventually price broke it up. That means this resistant become a support. I want to highlight it to you to show it to see it better. Here was resistant and it became a support. Also the same situation if we speak about uh, when we had a support and price broke it down. Take a look on this hem. Price came to level, bounced from it. There could be one bounce, there could be a lot of bounce. The most important is that price break level and close above or under it. Under it if we, we had support and it became a, a resistant. And after that, we have a good place to open a position because most of the people had buy position, set their stop losses here under this level. When price break down that level, most of their position hit stop losses and it, bring, it brought new volume. And it brought new volume to the market to move the instrument down. Take a look on this. That's why I love to trade mirror levels because I know where big players could take the volume which they need to move the instrument. Take a look on this example, on real example, on gold. Take a look on this real example. Here we have mirror level from daily chart. Take a look here. Let's open daily chart. Also let's clean this mess. Let's clean everything. Take a look here on this huge paranormal candle. Price were in the range many days and price just broke it up and came back. Here there was resistant when price broke it up and closed the ball, resistant became a support. Once more, I want to highlight it with colors. Mostly resistant I highlight by red color because resistant we used to open short position, support we used to open buy position. And here we have this change, a resistant became a support. Take a look on lower time frame, how it looks. Take a look here. The price exactly came to this level, made a fake broke and continue up move. It is one of the best places on the chart where you can open a position. Let's go to another examples on another instrument of mirror levels. You need to Understand that mirror levels you can use on different time frames on different markets. It doesn't matter what you trade, oil, forex, cryptocurrencies, CFDs, everywhere you can use mirror levels. Let's take a look on some beautiful examples on 
euro USD. Take a look here. The price were in this range, in this huge range. But take a look how the price made a bull trap here. Price broke it up, closed a bull key level and bounced it. Here was one of the most beautiful bull trap which I saw last year. Take a look on lower time frame on one, on four hour candles. Take a look here. Take a look on this level. Price broke it and came is exactly to the same price and bounced it for me. There were a resistant. After that, that resistant became a support. And after that, that support became a resistant again. But what's the most important for you? When you open position here to continue down move, you understood why the price can make down move. Because here big players create this bull trap. And you understand where volume can go to the market. Okay, let's take a look on another examples of mirror levels. Let's open some other instrument. Let's open British pound, for example. One of the good example here. Take a look on this level. Also, it is a round number. Take a look how many times price just bounced from it. On this round number, take. Let's let's do it. One point thirty one. Price bounced from this level first time and also two times before broke it up. And after that, first time when price came here, there was this bounce. Take a look what happened when price just broke it down. Price broke it down and came back again. It is one of the most beautiful mirror levels which I trade last week. Let's take a look here. Here was a resistant. Resistant became a support. And after that, it became a resistant again. It could change a lot of time, but I recommend to you to trade it first time, maximum is the second time, because on third time, in 80% cases, price broke key level. For example, here, take a look, price bounced it first time from this level, after that second time bounced it, but on third time, price came back and broke it down. That's why I use such type of levels wisely. Okay, let's take a look on another example on this currency pair. Sometimes these levels will be not so beautiful, but still we can use it because for us it is important that these levels they work it's far more important than do they beautiful or not let's open daily chart also friends remember that the most important time frame in trading it is on daily chart you can find a really powerful levels take a look here on this example from this place price make this up move make this re high this powerful up move and take a look what happened when price came here first time price bounced it many times from these levels. After that, price broke it down, closed under it. First time, that was a mirror level. And after that, a second time, price came back to the same level. Take a look, the same level, low risk and potential reward in five, 10 times, 15 times bet bigger than your risk. Let's check other examples. For example, Japanese yen. Take a look on this currency pair. Here also was, I think here we can find good mirror levels. Take a look here. Take a look on this. Do you see how the price first time came to this level? Take a look how price bounced for him many times. Also, you can find another mirror level here. Such mirror levels you can use for intraday trading especially because mostly if you want to open a position for long term, you need to use daily levels only because such inside levels they are not such powerful as daily levels because only from daily levels price can make a huge move okay let's take a look on some other currency player for example let's it be canadian dollar let's it be canadian dollar and where we can find a good mirror level let's open some lower time frame here for example for our for our chart Take a look here. Do you see how many times the price bounced from the same level? One, two, three, three times. And take a look what happened when price came back to this level. I want to highlight it to you. Near this level there were maybe 20 pips risk and price moved from that entry point in six times bigger than your risk. Risk reward was one to seven it, it really was amazing risk reward okay let's open some other instruments like uh, oil gold or also indexes and even shares 
because I want to prove you that this system works everywhere. Okay, where is oil? Oil is here. Great. Let's open. Let's zoom in it. Okay. Take a look here. First and beautiful level. This example. There were a support, price bounced from it, and take a look how many days candles were above this level. Big players accumulate position here. A lot of people opened buy position because price moved down so much and they wanted to turn the price. But when price hit the stop losses, it brought new volume to the market. Let's open some lower time frames to you. Four hour, for example. Take a look here. On this, on this level. Take a look how many days, how many times price bounced it from this level, came back again. Take a look, two times price bounced it from this level more than 200 pips. Friends, if you, if you risk, for example, 30 pips, you can take one to five, one to six here, in this range, from this mirror level. Okay, let's open indexes. Let's open S&P 500. Let's start from daily chart because daily chart is head of everything. Take a look here, for example here, from this level. From this level price broke it up and uh, made this rehigh. Also, take a look here. We can open lower time frame and see price bounce it from this level. After that broke it up, close the bull and take a look how many times daily candles bounce it from it. Also take a look here. Also, one of the most beautiful example price made this down move, close the book, and how the price made this powerful up move from this place. You need to understand that this type of levels works everywhere for you. It's important to build it properly. In this video lesson, we learn how to build mirror levels properly. Once more, use higher time frames for a start to build it daily, weekly chart. Only after that, you can use lower time frames. And let's go to another lesson where I will show you historical levels. Let's go ahead.